The Stinson L-1 Vigilant was a 1940s American light observation aircraft built by the Stinson Aircraft Company at Wayne, Michigan. The aircraft was operated by the United States Army Air Corps as the O-49 until 1942. The Vigilant was designed in response to a 1938 United States Army Air Corps design competition for a two-seat light observation aircraft. When the German-manufactured Fessler Stork was demonstrated at the Cleveland Air Races, the Air Corps revised its specifications in an attempt to match the performance of the Stork. Stinson, won the $1. 5 million contract over 11 competitors, including the Belonka Y-050 and Ryan Y-051 Dragonfly. The Model 74 was a single radial-engine high-wing monoplane with trailing-edge high-lift devices for low-speed and high-lift performance. The prototype aircraft was built with full-span leading-edge automatic slots manufactured by Handley Page, and slotted flaps. The Model V-74 was given the Army designation Y-049 for evaluation, with the first flight by test pilot Al Schramm on July 15, 1940. The aircraft was built of steel tubing and fabric, with the fuselage forward of the wing enclosed in sheet metal. Control surfaces and the empennage were fabric-covered stainless steel. The Lycoming power plant was hand-cranked inertia starting, and was fitted with a Hamilton standard constant speed propeller. At least 12 ambulance conversions were fitted with Edo 49 to 4000 floats for amphibious landings and takeoffs. The Vigilant was capable of stopping in less than its own length, and could maintain stable flight at 31 miles per hour. Anecdotally, the Vigilant was said to be capable of backwards flight in a strong headwind. 1941 liters minus 1. Reserve Grand Champion, AirVenture 2016 X Usic 049 Vigilant in the Weeks Museum at Tamiami, Florida, in 1989 wearing RAF-style markings the Stinson Vigilant was used in diverse roles such as towing training gliders, artillery spotting, liaison, emergency rescue, transporting supplies and special espionage flights. Another contract was later awarded for the O-49A which had a slightly longer fuselage and other equipment changes. In April 1942 the aircraft were redesignated the L-1 and L-1A. Up to 17 liters minus 1 and 96 liters 1A aircraft were allocated to the British Royal Air Force under the Lend-Lease Act, with varying numbers given for aircraft actually delivered. The RAF designated the aircraft the Vigilant MKI and Vigilant MK2 respectively. General Harry Crerer, commander of the 1st Canadian Army in Europe during World War II, maintained a vigilant for his personal use. Aircraft were modified for a variety of roles including as an ambulance aircraft. No further production orders were placed as the aircraft was superseded by procurement of vast numbers of both the militarized Piper J-3 Cub, the L-4 Grasshopper, and Stinson's own L-5 Sentinel, itself produced in nearly 4,000 examples, were all generically classified as puddle jumper aircraft. A Vigilant was modified in 1943 to 1944 for experiments in boundary layer control. O-49 Vigilant at Patterson Field during World War II data from American warplanes of World War II general characteristics performance aircraft of comparable role, configuration, and aero-related lists. Thanks for watching.